nach ein paar Monaten Konzentrationslager. Als das it came about that I had to spend a few months in a concentration camp so as an enemy alien. Vaterland Frankreich. In my so beloved second homeland of France. After my release, I continued to go west, westwards at all costs, because only in the west is anything new to be found. Peggy Guggenheim, the American heiress and art collector, recalls in her memoirs confessions of an art addict. Max, after all his experience in concentration camps, certainly appeared much older. When I began my affair with Max Ernst, it was not serious, but soon I discovered that I was in love with him. She persuaded my father and myself together with her 16-year-old daughter, Peggy, to move to the west coast of California. After a violently uncomfortable flight across the entire American continent, we landed in San Francisco. We stayed in the best hotels. Peggy bought the latest luxury convertible with automatic shift. I coached Max for hours from a driver's manual for his test After having passed, he wanted to drive all the time. For weeks, we went on almost daily expeditions along the coast in search of an Ernst Guggenheim Home Plus Museum. Yeah. Charles Lawton's residence on Pacific Palisades was up for sale. An entire canyon opening onto Malibu Beach that contained an unfinished 60-room castle, begun by a now-deceased silent movie queen, was offered for 40,000 U.S. dollars. A counteroffer by Peggy of about half that sum was unsuccessful. We also considered a bowling alley, a couple of fake adobe churches, and the original home of Ramon Navarro, whose vast garage looked like a possibility for the collection. Peggy sent me on an errand to downtown Los Angeles to investigate California's marriage procedures. Finally, she decided that California was not ready to house her museum. Max rolled up his eyes with relief, and we began with our transcontinental return trip to New York. Yeah. 